Credit card balances have hit an all-time high just as rates are rising uh, everywhere thanks to the Fed's rate hikes. Home equity loans, they're costing now around 8%. This according to bank rate. 30-year mortgages around 6.5%. Used car loans uh, over 10%. Uh, and credit cards, they are over 20%. For more, let's bring in Greg McBride, chief financial analyst at bankrate.com. Greg, how are these rising rates ultimately going to affect consumers? Are they eventually going to cut back on their spending? Must they? The discretionary spending, I think, is very suspect, uh, Tyler, because of the fact that more and more of the household budget is being imp impacted by inflation, but then also these higher interest costs. You know, we've seen credit card balances go up because increasingly households are having to lean on the credit card for necessary expenses. So you have more people carrying balances, higher balances, uh, uh, aggregate balances than we've ever seen at a time when interest rates are the highest. And so, you know, even if they're not out buying cars or buying homes, uh, servicing the, uh, that existing variable rate debt has become increasingly costly. Have consumers gone, I mean, what explains the, the rise in credit card balances? Because during the pandemic, obviously, savings were rising. Now, what, what's happened to turn, to flip that switch? Particularly for lower and moderate income households, uh, you've seen balances going up dramatically, uh, credit card balances, but the savings balances have been coming down. So, you know, although there's a lot of talk about pent up savings, a lot of that is at the higher end of the income and wealth spectrum. Mm -hmm. Lower and middle income households have really been stretched by inflation. That's dented the savings, if not if, if, if completely erased it. And a lot of that now is that spending is ending up on credit cards, and it's happening at the worst possible time with these high rates. Greg, where do we go from here? Uh, do you expect uh, the Fed to keep hiking? And can you talk a little bit actually about what you've seen in terms of people taking money out of their banks and putting it into other instruments that offer better yields right now? We actually see pretty high demand in, in terms of bank deposits uh, because of there's, there's such a yield pickup. Uh, online banks are paying 4 and 5 percent right now. And that's federally insured. So particularly with the drop off in Treasury yields over the last couple of weeks, there's now a substantive advantage if you're looking at online savings account or the top yielding CDs versus Treasuries or, or money funds. Right. And, and, and in other words, so you're not are you seeing any slowdown or, or I guess let me ask it this way. Are, are you seeing now that people have to ratchet up yields everywhere because they're all now kind of competing for deposits or no? No, it's still pretty isolated. We have seen some of the smaller community or, or regional banks. They have bumped up deposits in, in recent weeks, but even there, still very much the exception rather than the yeah, Very interesting. Greg McBride, thank you for checking in with us, especially today. We appreciate it from BayGreat.com.